I agree with diversity, but it can't be the ones where I'm rolling my eyes like, really, come on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got done watching the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. They actually mentioned the title in the movie. I better start laughing when that happened. That was funny. Guys, I'm going to be talking about spoilers. So if you haven't watched the movie, I highly recommend that you watch it. It was a fun time. This movie was a fun watch. I knew it was going to be fun once I checked out the trailer. I thought it was going to be a serious war movie. And obviously they were talking about German, the German war against Hitler and so on. So I thought it was going to be very, very serious. It turned out that it was a very light hearted movie. It's still based on real events, apparently. At the beginning, it said that it was, it, you know, the file, I believe it was Churchill that was um, leading the charge, that the file became declassified in 2016. So we're getting this movie based on a classified information that was just released. So the figures were real. And also it was a, it was a pleasant surprise to see at the end that the main character, the one Henry Cavill was playing, was the inspiration for James Bond. It was so nice as well to see the pictures of the real people at the end. I had to rewind it a bit because I, I couldn't figure out who the characters was. I was asking my wife, wait, which one is that? Which one is that? So we figured out which one Henry Cavill was. We figured out who, which one the lady, well, the lady was obvious. She was the only lady in the team. Reach's character, who he was. So it was really nice seeing that at the end. That was really, really good. To talk about the movie, guys, it's basically a bunch of soldiers who are exceptionally skilled. A mission came up that required their set of skills basically what was it the germans were blocking the americans from coming to help the british and they basically needed people to go and unblock the road on the sea blow up like the biggest ship that was in the arsenal of the germans and get it out of the way so that it would allow the, the american forces to join the fight and support britain that's basically the mission. It's a suicide mission. It's not a mission that they were expecting them to come home from, but these guys were exceptionally skilled. Henry Cavill basically said he needed his own team. He's not gonna do it without them. He got them all. It was fun to see that there was somebody missing who was part of the team. They said they were gonna go get him first before they do the mission. That was really fun. Guys, the action was so fun. <laughs> it was so good. They had like silences on their guns and the way they were just spraying the enemy was too funny. It was amazing. And it was satisfying as well. Like you were watching and you were intrigued, watching how the action unfolded. And they were also walking through the battlefield so effortlessly, it was so... <laughs> It was really good. The only other thing that was a pleasant surprise to me, and this this is something that I think the last time something like this happened was in um, The Harder Day Fall, which is the uh, Jonathan Majors movie that I said that I really liked. They were speaking Yoruba. They were speaking a African dialect, Nigerian dialect, which is basically my language. And the first time I heard it, it was in the background. I was like, wait a minute, did I just hear my language? And then I rewound it, not knowing I was going to be treated to like a flood load of Yoruba later on. I rewound it, I was like, I heard, I heard, I heard Yoruba language. And then I was like, yeah, I did hear some of that. I figured it out. I figured out what they were saying. And then as we continued the movie, it was just apparent that they were in Nigeria or they were they had Nigerian actors. And they were basically speaking Yoruba like for like the final act of the movie. They had a Nigerian soldier join them. And they also had a Nigerian um, prince who also joined the fight. He didn't speak Yoruba, but his henchmen were speaking it. I didn't really like the main henchman. I forgot, what was his name? Ade? Like, he he didn't seem authentic. Like, the way he pronounced the words were, were not right. So I was like, okay, he's probably an actor who's been told to speak Yoruba and learn how to say the words. So he didn't say the words properly, but there were people in the background that you could hear speaking an actual authentic dialect of Yoruba so that was a pleasant surprise my wife started making fun of me she was like do you feel seen do you feel heard <laughs> that was funny this is the kind of um what should I say like diversity it didn't feel forced like they were in a era or a time where something like this would happen the mission was near Nigeria and it went to Nigeria and obviously I'm going to expect to hear 
Nigerian culture, see Nigerian culture, see Nigerian, hear Nigerian languages and stuff like that. So it didn't feel forced. The ones where I roll my eyes is when you just force it in where it doesn't belong there. Like you're just trying to be like diversity. I hate those ones because this is what the argument is with the woke movies. They say, oh, we force it in there because people want to feel seen or heard. No, we never needed you know these type of things to enjoy a movie but it's nice when it's when it's in there and it makes sense i agree with diversity but it can't be the ones where i'm rolling my eyes like really come on there's no way that would happen <laughs> So yeah, I thought that was really good to have gone to Nigeria for a war and I'm hearing Yoruba people talking in the background in the market and stuff like that. So that was really, really good. And I was pleasantly surprised as well in uh, The Harder They Fall. Also a black movie made sense. I was hearing a Yoruba song in the background. So that was really good. Really appreciate that. That was nice. My favorite character in the movie was Richa. The bow and arrow attacks were phenomenal. He did one attack that went through a soldier and went through another soldier. That was, I was like, damn, that was crazy. But his stealthy bow and arrow attacks was just amazing. Like he was just sniping people from far away. And I thought that was amazing. Henry Cavill was good. He was a good leader. Oh yeah, the young lady, the girl. So she ended up being a Jewish person, but she wanted revenge against the main baddie and she infiltrated his business. He eventually figures out that she is a Jew and obviously he's German and he has a completely unnatural disdain for her just because she's a jew when he didn't think she was a jew he was really hot for her it was really weird i was telling my wife look at this guy look at the way he's so hot for this girl if he found out that she was a jew he'll completely you know he'll completely change and exactly what i said is exactly what happened as soon as he realized he was a jew all of a sudden he went from sexual attraction to i want to torture her to death strange the only other person that i really loved the main reason why i liked this character was because of his voice he had a really unique voice very raspy and airy voice i really liked hearing when he was on screen the tension came he got himself into a mission where he had to blow up the lights to signal for the main cavalry to come in and he got there and we were me and my wife looked at each other like oh he's gonna die he's gonna die he's gonna die and surely soldiers showed up behind him while he was planting the bomb and he's in german he's in enemy territory and i was like oh no i really like this character he was gonna die but then he was a fake out he survived i also thought the young lady was gonna die because the, the bad guy figured out she was a jew and he was getting ready to torture her but she's a spy i didn't know why i didn't think about it that she was a spy and she could hold her own because she already showed that she could hold her own yeah she, she she decimated him in the end so the movie is really fun guys give it a watch i really recommend it i really enjoyed it as well i'm gonna watch it again i thought it was really fun guys before i go please check out my relationship channel i'll put it on the screen right now i give relationship advice to young people to help them navigate the current confusion between the red pill and the feminism movement on the internet i talk about marriages i talk about relationships i talk about how they can manage those in this modern times especially as families and relationships are under attack if you enjoy that type of content please go over to my channel over there and hit that subscribe button over there and give my videos a watch and if you enjoyed my review of the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare, give me a subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment if you've watched the movie, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in my next video.